Everybody, it's Shannon. Welcome to another episode of Film Foods where I recreate dishes from your favorite films and TV shows and put it all on the internet for your viewing pleasure. For about a month now, my friends have been begging me to make the spaghetti and meatballs from Disney's Lady and the Tramp. Call it a bella notte. And since the film's 60th anniversary just passed and I haven't made a savory dish on the show, I thought, why not? Also, I'll take any excuse I can get to show my dog on camera. For the diamond anniversary, Disney released their own recipe for spaghetti and meatballs, which I have tried and tweaked, and now I'm gonna give it to you. So without further ado, let's get this recipe rolling. Because everything goes into the oven and onto the stove at approximately the same time, I'm going to show you the ingredients for both the meatballs and the spaghetti sauce now because pre-planning is incredibly important for a stress-free cooking experience. Duh. For the meatballs, you are going to need half a pound of ground chicken, half a pound of ground turkey, half a cup of breadcrumbs, another half a cup of grated parmesan, a half a cup of finely chopped onions, two tablespoons of freshly chopped parsley, two cloves of finely minced garlic, a fourth a teaspoon of oregano, a fourth a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and two tablespoons of thyme. For the spaghetti sauce, you are going to need some olive oil, a chopped red bell pepper, a cup of finely chopped onion, a fourth a cup of freshly chopped basil, two teaspoons of dried oregano, five cloves of garlic minced, a fourth a cup of tomato paste, and a 28 ounce can of diced tomatoes. And of course for the spaghetti, you're going to need your favorite box of dried spaghetti. So first things first, I'm gonna make the meatballs. Now I preheated my oven to 400 degrees and I'm just gonna throw all of my ingredients into this medium sized bowl and mix it together with my impeccably clean hands. If you are planning on sharing this with your furry friend, note that spaghetti and meatballs contains a lot of ingredients that are really bad for dogs. Particularly onions and garlic are poisonous to dogs and the acidity in tomatoes can really upset their stomachs. So I'm gonna make my dog two meatballs that are just the meat and I'm gonna place them just a little bit to the side of my meatball pan and I'm gonna give her some plain spaghetti later so I'm gonna add my half a pound of ground chicken and turkey mix that together a little bit so I can make two tiny little doggy meatballs two doggy meatballs down okay to your ground meat you are going to add your breadcrumbs and your grated Parmesan cheese, and your plate of onions, and parsley, and thyme, and cayenne pepper, and oregano, and garlic. Now I'm gonna mix that all together with my hands. This feels really weird. Ugh, I hate the feeling of raw meat in my hands. So now that your meat and your spices are nicely mixed together, you are going to form golf ball sized balls and place them into your baking dish. Now that my meatballs have been formed, I'm going to wash my hands first and then set my meatballs aside so I can start on my spaghetti sauce. Welcome to the other side of my kitchen. Mm. So to a medium sized saucepan, you are going to pour in about a tablespoon of your olive oil. So I'm just gonna eyeball that. And then you are going to add your onions and your chopped bell pepper. And you're gonna saute those on medium high heat for about five minutes. And they call it Bella Notte. Sing into my spoon. I wish Harper was here. Harper would make this a lot more interesting. Oh, this is the night. It's a beautiful night. After your onions and your bell peppers have been sauteing for about five minutes, we are going to add our garlic, season my hands, and you're gonna saute that for an additional minute. Now you are going to add your spices, you're gonna add your tomatoes, and finally your tomato paste. Mm -hmm. 
Now that your meatballs have been baking in the oven for about five minutes, it's time to start your spaghetti. So I filled a large saucepan about two thirds of the way full with water and added a little pinch of salt and now I'm going to bring it to a boil. Make sure to stir your pasta occasionally just so it doesn't clump at the bottom oh, and pour some water into the flame. And then you should start testing for readiness after about five to six minutes or when they start to look ready. Now that my meatballs are done, I've set them aside to cool so it is time for me to blend my sauce. So I'm going to take my sauce off the heat and then I'm going to hit it a few times with my hand blender. Now that my sauce is nice and well blended, I'm going to take my spaghetti off the heat and strain it in the strainer. And once the spaghetti is done straining, you are going to add it to your pasta sauce. But first, I'm going to pour about a third of the pasta sauce into a separate container just so I can control how much sauce is in my pasta. Mix that through. So my pasta and my sauce is nice and well mixed together. So now it is time to plate it, pop some meatballs on it, maybe put a little Parmesan, a little fresh basil, and then you're done. And there you have it, your finished spaghetti and meatballs from Lady in the Tramp. So delicious, you and your dog could fall in love with it. If you like the video, please click the like button. If you have any recipes from films or TV shows that you'd like me to cover in future episodes, or if you have any feedback whatsoever, please comment in the comment section below. Make sure to follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram for more updates on what is to come. And also you can follow Harper on Instagram as well. And of course, please subscribe for more film food creations. Harper, let's eat! Sit. High five. Good girl.